So I started to look up matchmakers and date coaches to try to sell this idea. I found out that they all convene in New York every year at the Matchmaker Institute. So I bought a ticket, went to the Matchmaker Institute, and because I'm trifling, I got there late. And I had to sit in the way back of the room. <laughs> and, I, and I sat in a room with 250 of the world's top matchmakers. And I was waiting for a break because I thought at the break, I'll approach a couple and talk to them about this idea, right? I had my Gucci suit on, I was ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was the new Gucci too, the new suit. <laughs> and so <laughs> I sat there and as I was listening to what they were talking about, it was more so they were talking about the business of matchmaking. And I thought to myself, I know that. I know about business models and revenue models and marketing. And I know about all this stuff. And then I looked at the room, and this is another epiphany, is I, I say, show up in places where there are a few of you. Mm -hmm. I looked at this room and I said, hold on for a second. I am the only man in this room. <laughs> I'm the only one under, at that time, 35 in this room. I'm the only person of color in this room. So instead of what I think we often do when we feel like we're in a minority, we minimize it. Instead, I said, this is what makes me extraordinary. This is what makes me different. This is what gives me a different POV. So I was like, I'm holding this idea for myself. <laughs> I was like, why am I going to sell this idea? <laughs> this is a good idea. 